Bupin Kaka's Man in Pub was painted after a formative and pivotal trip to England in 1979. An accountant by day, an artist by night, Bupin visited England from India as an artist in residence at the Bath Academy of Art. He was introduced to the quintessential British pub by friend and fellow artist Howard Hodgkin. Bupin's narrative skill showcases the ordinary and the mundane, the man often ignored. These were the protagonists who most interested him. He brings out a softness to his paintings, which is often shrouded by masculine bravado in real life. He lays these ordinary men bare and naked for all to see. The exotic thing uh, in the painting itself doesn't interest me that much because the novelty of that wears out very easily. Uh, while our day-to-day -day things, it interests me because it is there all the time. Say a person sitting on a chair talking or combing his hair. You see them uh, totally unaware. And I think that is what interests me, uh, how they look uh, in their own surroundings. Inundated with visitors himself, Bupin's own private house was very public. And here, in contrast, the public house is very private. What Bupin found strange was someone who would visit a pub and sit drinking in silence. He was curious about this figure. Writing in his diary during that winter visit, Kaka noticed, you are not allowed to smile during this season, which lasts for 10 months of the year. If you are sensible, then try and look as grumpy as possible. English people appreciate sulk. I wanted to really show uh, a kind of life uh, which is going on. Like say, we are here getting ourselves filmed and so many other things happen outside and people really don't take notice that there is an exhibition going on or things like that. This widely exhibited painting, most recently at Tate Modern, comes to market for the very first time. A rare opportunity to own a published work by the artist.